Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Talk with Sibomile. If you're joining me for the first time, I'd like to give you a warm welcome to this beautiful family. We get to share different perspectives on different topics. So we're still reflecting, right? We're still reflecting on how on how 2021 was for us and we just also reflecting on our general um lives basically so in this video i saw it fit that we talk about emotions um you know in life we go through so much and how we um relate ourselves emotionally i saw it as something that is important to talk about as many of us don't really know how to express how we feel or to whom to express how we feel right so at this point in time i'm still learning how to understand my emotions and also who to tell or whom to tell when i feel a certain way i'm learning because i've never had such a privilege to grow up in a back an environment where you know my my emotions were recognized or i was able to freely express how i feel so if i felt depressed for example that's something that i would never tell anyone in my family or my friends because we never related in that manner we were never comfortable to talk about you know feeling depressed or feeling sad or feeling happy about a certain thing yes they understood that you were happy at some point in time but it's not something that you can discuss and say oh, i'm feeling happy because of this and this and this and you know how does that make one feel so also when you felt depressed it was that um the reaction was different so imagine telling an older individual who does not really know what depression is or if you say you feel sad and they don't really understand why you're feeling sad so most of the emo emotions i suppress them because firstly i had no one to talk to and secondly even if i had spoken to someone um they wouldn't understand what i really meant at that point in time or it would be you dramatic get over it why why are you sad um why should you be sad so just buy yourself ice cream and you should be fine about it should be fine right so growing up then i realized that you know the minute i don't address my emotions i will be an individual who's not emotionally available for other people and emotionally available for myself you know i also realized that people who are not emotionally available or cannot regulate their emotions or they cannot address their emotions or talk about their emotions or suppress their emotions they tend to suppress other people's emotions as well because they don't know how to deal with that situation right and um you know the thing of also avoiding how to deal with your own emotion you're avoiding to feel hurt, to feel happy, to feel excited because you don't know how to deal with such things. So I remember, you know, most of the time when I would be so excited, it felt weird because I never got an opportunity to express my excitedness um with my people or with the people that I surrounded with. I never got to really express my sadness with um the people around me or with my loved ones when i'm excited it would be oh you're too excited and you know that too much excitement will end in tears and that's what people used to say and that, and then when you said it would be you stop sulking why you said yes that thing happens so what continue with life and i understand why they would you know react in that manner but that also has a negative um implication or consequences on someone's um growth on and emotional well-being so yeah it it does a lot of harm than good and i also realized that when you are emotion when you're unavailable emotionally for yourself you 
you tend to guess light your feelings so you don't attend to your feelings or when you're feeling sad you're like oh okay no um i can't be feeling this way you kind of you you guess light yourself when you hurt when you're feeling in a way that you are not familiar with and you know a lot of gaslighting happens in that sense and that's what i did i gaslighted myself so much in the sense that i would invalidate my head um you, you know when you're hurt by individuals and they'll tell you like no but i was joking why are you being hurt by something like that and then you sit down you know oh you know when you hear something over and over again you somehow want to believe that that is true but it's not i don't know if i'm making sense but yeah you tend to to want to make what they said to be true or to be real but in fact what you're feeling is being suppressed and hence one ends up gaslighting themselves and that is you know one danger about feelings or about suppressing your emotions that the minute you gaslight yourself you second guess your how you feel and what a certain situation made you feel and yeah it it becomes a problem because going forward you don't know how to address even greater issues and you don't know how to be emotionally available for yourself so yeah growing up in an environment that's that underestimates your emotion can have an impact in the long run right and i'm realizing that now that had i not been aware earlier i probably would have been an emotional wreck and you know i understand people will say but don't let your emotions run you or don't allow emotions to overpower you which is understandable because sometimes when you use your emotions to make decisions you can make uh decisions based on emotions whereas you can override oh, is it, is it such a word yes you can override the facts or what is actually happening but um what i'm trying to say is it's not a matter of allowing your emotions uh control you but allowing yourself to feel allowing yourself to understand the kind of feeling that you or the kind of emotions that you're going through and being able to regulate such emotions and that is the power there because you know you can be smart you can be that intelligent but if you're not able to regulate your own emotion emotions um it can do more harm and you won't be able to survive in certain environments either work environments either relationships it will affect you because you know the minute you're not able to express yourself let's just say for example you cannot express yourself in an environment in a workplace um people tend to you know decide for you they decide what is supposed to be done and whereas you will not have a voice to 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 speak out or to speak up about a certain thing that you're not happy with because you're not able to deal with those kind of emotions or the consequences of those emotions should you be be able to should you speak up so yeah before i blab a lot but i just wanted to you know share with you how my reflections on how emotions are important and how i realized that my childhood had a great contribution towards how i deal with emotions or how i used to deal with emotions or how i see emotions being an important factor at this moment in time so i hope you guys get to do some reflection or self introspection about you know certain emotions that you're feeling or the kind of or maybe you are experiencing 
um, a predicament or an event in your life that makes you feel a certain way but you don't know how to express it or really who do you go to when you feel like you want to express yourself in a certain way and how do they take it do does that help you in the long run or it just leaves you feeling depressed and feeling like you don't want to express yourself so yeah i'll see you guys in my other video and i hope you guys got to learn a thing or two or got to um understand a bit more about your emotions see you guys in my other video